All right, we're looking at the four primary chords we're using for our songwriting set on guitar. The first one is our E minor. Now, we always wanna make sure that our thumb is up to the back so that our fingers can kind of wiggle forward. That'll allow us to have a curved finger as we are pressing into the strings. The first one we're gonna do is our A minor. I'm only going to use strings one through five. We're gonna stay off that sixth string for A minor. I'm gonna use the first fret of the B string and the second fret for both the, D, the G string and the D string. So we have That's our A minor. The next one we're looking at is a really easy transition from A minor to E minor because I'm just going to take these two fingers and move each one up one string. Staying in the second fret, I'm now going to be on the A string and the D string. Now we want both of these to be as close as possible to the fret line on the second fret. Next, we're gonna look at the D. Now the D, it's important that we are only using the bottom four strings. And we're gonna use, we're gonna kind of adjust our grip a little bit using our first and second fingers on the E and G strings. And then wrapping our third finger to the third fret on the B string. <laughs> That's NBC, isn't it? <laughs> All right, so once again, that, that D chord only uses the bottom four strings. And last but not least is our G chord. We're still gonna be using um, the third fret, but this time, and you can hold that that third finger down on that third fret. You don't absolutely have to. And you are welcome to use either your pinky or your ring finger on the e, high E of the um, third fret. I like to play my G like this, even though in the book you're gonna see it without that B fretted. So here I'm using my first finger on the second fret of the A string and my third, my second finger on the third fret of the low E with my pinky, my fourth finger, on the third fret of my high E. And that's our G chord. <laughs> 